now, now I can see that that the number is number of participants is not increasing that much anymore, and it is already a bit over ten o'clock. So uh, let's start this event. So so good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Marco Rokangas. And represent the managing authority of Karelia CPC program, and I have a pleasure to to welcome you all to to this information event concerning the additional call. Uh, and today, in this information event, we we provide you general information about the call, and and then then some practicalities about applying for funding. Uh, and maybe a couple of words about the background um, of this call. So, so this additional call, it has been there in our plans from, from the very beginning. But what made it possible was the extension of the eligibility period for, for the implementation program. And in addition to that, uh, it, we uh, noticed that, that uh, the implemented projects, uh, some savings are coming. So, so some funding is saved from, from the projects. And, and these two issues made, made this call um, possible. Uh, and in a way, this call can be considered as a bridge between the current program and the future program, which is uh, where the launching is foreseen in, in 2023. But of course, in this call and today, we focus on this current program uh, and the next and future program is, is then the other question. Uh, but having said that, so uh, um, if we, we can go, go directly to uh, the introduction of the call, uh, or is there anything about practicalities that we should mind about? Participants. Or maybe I give, give the floor to Henna. So Henna, please, if if you can tell us a bit more about the uh, call in general. Thank please. you. I will share my screen. Hope you can see it. Okay, so as Marco already mentioned, this 12th call is a supplementary call for proposals, and the idea is to recommit funding released from already implemented projects. So this means that we do not know yet the total amount of available funding yet. Uh, it has been estimated that approximately 2.5 between 3 million euros will be available in this call for proposals, but we will only know the final amount when the project has been closed. So basically we will contract the projects as the money is released and the last projects that will be contracted under this call for proposals will be by the end of the next year, 2022. There will be two types of projects eligible under this call, development call projects and capitalization projects. And I will tell you a bit more about these project types now. So basically the development projects, they are the regular projects you are already used to if you have participated in the previous call for proposals. So these are regular projects but with limited implementation period, because uh, all the projects need to end by the end of 2023. So this is the deadline for the, for the projects. So basically, if we estimate that the first contracts will be made in the autumn next year, maybe in October, so this would give about a year of implementation period for the projects. And this is important to, to note when you are planning your activities. Um, 
In the development project, you need to have at least one partner from Finland and one from Russia. And we are recommending not to build a very large consortium this time because of the limited implementation period. It might be a bit difficult to handle, for example, eight partners. So, so maybe from two to maximum five and already five is quite a lot this time. Uh, and the minimum size for a project is 50,000 euros. We do not have a maximum size defined, but do think what you could realistically use in this short amount of time. Um, what comes to the development project, please note that we are only opening part of the priority elements. So we are opening three priorities, business, culture, and environment. But the elements under the priorities are restricted according to the um, basically fulfillment of the indicators at the current time. So we are only opening those elements where we are missing the, the indicator level. So under business priority, solving or removing of the barriers hindering the cross-border economic cooperation and activities increasing the area's attractiveness as a target for investments are open. And that's it. And then under culture, increase of the diversity of cultural services with new forms of cross-border cultural activities and creation of new cross-sectoral initiatives. And then on the priority uh, three, environment only border areas by biodiversity is open. So these are the elements that you should concentrate on in your applications. No other elements are open for applications. And then going to the capitalization project, which, which is something completely new for the Karelia CPC program. We have never tried this kind of project type before, but since capitalization and impact of the project is an increasingly important topic, we thought it's a good time to try this kind of um, approach. So here the idea is that the projects are based on finalized or ongoing Karelia CPC projects. And here the restricted list of the elements does not count, but the priority and the element are the same as in the original project. So even if the original project is linked to any of those elements that are closed from the development project, it doesn't mean that the capitalization project could not be applied. And also here, you need to have at least one partner from Finland and one from Russia. The lead partner of the project has to be one of the partners that participated in the original project, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the original lead partner. So it can be some, some other organization who participated. And then it is also important to note that not all the partners from the original project need to participate in the capitalization project, and also you can introduce new partners. So if, for example, you are, the idea is to, to disseminate the results of the project to new geographical location, then you could include a new partner from that location to the capitalization project. Uh, the capitalization projects are implemented as lump sum projects between 20 and 60,000 euros. And this means that the projects are paid based on the fulfillment of the outputs. So all the costs are checked on the contracting process. And then after that, they are uh, approved and they won't be challenged when you are reporting on the project. So no financial report is required and no expenditure verification report is required for the capitalization project. And a couple of words 
of capitalization if the concept is not if you are not familiar with the concept. So basically the idea is that the project results are capital that should be and can be taken advantage of. So when you have implemented a project, you have a result, you have the, the output, and that is something that, that can be used further. Uh, the capitalization is based on basically continued use of the project results and then reusing the results and also on improving the results. So this is the basic concept, the basic idea, aim that you should be um, targeting for in a capitalization project. So basically the idea is to disseminate the project results further and or to improve a project output to the next level. So you are taking a next step in a capitalization project, adding additional element to the original project. And basically, in the end, the idea is to improve the impact of the project. Uh, some examples, what we are not looking for, so the idea is not that the capitalization project is used for prolonging or concluding the original project. So for example, if there are some, uh, some activities that uh, you couldn't conclude within the original project, you should not apply for a capitalization project for, for finishing those activities. Uh, then it is also not for organizing a single event, for example, a final seminar. So, so that is not the point. And also capitalization project is not used for extra investment, which means that if within the project you have both something and equipment for an organization A, B and C. And then you think that, okay, we could buy more of this equipment to, to another locations or to, to another organizations. So, so this is not the point. It is possible to include small scale investments to the capitalization project, but that cannot be the, the whole idea, the whole objective of the project. There needs to be some, some, some other ideas. Then what it could be, in a capitalization project, you can try, you, you can disseminate the concept, the output you develop in the project to new geographical areas or organizations. For example, if you have um, produced educational material and it has been used, for example, in the, in the regions of Kainu and, and Kostomuksa. And then you know that, okay, this is something that really could be taken advantage also in, in Sortavala and Joensu. Then you could widen the scope of the, the project to the new locations. Uh, then you could create or improve a model for disseminating or reusing the results. So improve the accessibility of the results. In most of the project, there should be some kind of dissemination strategy you should be already disseminating the outputs but usually that is something that it can be improved it could be done better so if you know that okay there are these things that we could do that we were not able to do in the in the original project then the capitalization project can be used for that or if you have an an output created and you know that okay there is a next step that can be can be taken, we can add this functionality, we can, we can include this kind of additional concept to the output, then this is also something that can be tried in a capitalization project. So again, emphasizing that capitalization is for additional elements comparing to the original projects. So you are doing something extra, you are stepping through the next level. Okay, that was all from me at this point. 
I think we are going to the practicalities next. Okay, thank you, Henna. Maybe before going to the practicalities, we have there in chat, we have at least one, one question to all and then, then one direct question. And maybe we'll take these before going to practicalities, if, if Henna, that is okay. So, so the first, first question uh, uh, is that, is it possible to apply the study territory, the western coast of the White Sea? Uh, Henna, can, can you catch the, the, the point here with this question by given, given here? Uh, I have to say I, I'm not completely certain what this meant with the question, but, but I could point out here that when I mentioned that new geographical locations can be included, then we are still talking about the program region. Yeah, so, so that is the, the main point that the idea on the capitalization is not to go go further at this point. Okay, uh, I don't know if this, uh, Ludmila, if, if this answer to your question. Uh, Hello for everybody. I am Professor Ludmila Sergenko from the Petrozavodsk State University. And I would like to know uh, the, the main priority of, uh, of this call is the um, investigation of the environment. And you have been mentioned that uh, the, the main priority is to study the body cross biodiversity. And in this, and here I, I would like to know, will it be possible to include the investigation of Eastern coast of the White Sea, like the etalon plots for the investigation in our maybe future project? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Henna. If you can take that. Um, as long as the locations studied are within our program region or the or the additional program region with the with the main benefit coming to the program region. So this includes the the Karelian Republic mostly, then that's okay. I, uh, I don't know if that answers the question. Okay, uh, then let's take still a couple other questions before going to practicality. So uh, uh, first one, one question that came directly to me, uh, the question is that, uh, can you make a capitalization project uh, uh, based on the old ENPI CPC project? This is something that we haven't discussed, but but but, but maybe if, if I Henna may, may may start first. So so the idea here is is to to, to look at the, the projects in the current program and to capitalize these these uh, outcomes and results. So so. It, in principle, the question is about the current programs project. So, so this is my my understanding. And if looking back, so ENPI is already well a bit uh, far, if you say so. But then, if you, if you can complement, uh, yeah, it has been defined in the guidelines of the call that it goes to that in the capitalization project needs to be related to the ongoing or finalized Karelia CPC project. So. In the, this sense, ENPI projects are already um, passed. We, we, they cannot be linked to those. Okay, thank you, Henna. Uh, then still a couple of questions. So, so can you apply capitalization for, uh, uh, the results from several projects as combined? That's an interesting question and concept that we haven't considered, but now that I think of it, I see why not? We, we haven't restricted it in the guidelines that it needs to be linked only one. And of course it could be, if it's possible to, to make a capitalization project, including several projects, I, I think that that would be a good, good idea. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Yes, I agree. Uh, 
uh, then uh, Yevgenia forwarded one, one point uh, uh, that the project should end by December the 31st. What does it mean? The end of activities or overall reporting? Is this uh, uh, this is touched there in in in, in the practical this section? So so yeah. let's leave it leave it there. So Jarko Jarko can can touch this question. Let Jarko take this question already in mind when when you present the, the practicalities. Uh, and then uh, there was a question to to show it again, and not this, <laughs> not the last one. Not the last one. This one. <laughs> but okay, the previous one. Let's see if. I can go back. Yes. This is the last one. I think this was what was meant. Yeah. And yes, we, we can share all this material, which is shown here today. So you, you will, will get that information. Uh, um, OK. So. For the moment, that, that's about the questions. And please, uh, if any questions arise, still write them in, in chat and let's go, go, go to practicalities now. And we can still come back to, to the questions related to the hen, uh, first part, meaning Henna's presentation. So, so no, no problems with that. But, but let's hear what Jarko has to say about applying and about the practicalities. Okay, please, Jarko, or is yours? We do not hear you. You are muted. Do you hear now? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Indeed. And hope you see, see the presentation also. So, some practical things which might be useful to know now the call is open so mm, now first of all timetable of the call so call is now open from from yesterday on and it will be open quite long time so it will be open until 17th of March, 1500 Finnish time. And that is the time when the promise system will, will be closed. Jarko, the call... a sorry, sorry to interrupt you. There's a question if, if you can uh, widen the presentation to, to the whole screen, if, if possible. Or do, do you have some, some practical problems with that? Perhaps I have, but I don't know. Because we, we see only the first page here. Hmm. Let's see. This works now quite weird. I don't know. If you try from now to and you know, and look at it, I I guess that that is the other option to 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 show that. Uh, wait a minute. Now to and and uh, look at if 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 this is the diet show doesn't work. So. Alternatively, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Kenny, yeah. do you have this slideshow? So, do you, if you can open that, so 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 that works as well. Shall we do so? Is it better now? 
somehow it doesn't work as a as a as a DR yeah. show. So yes. Okay, we yeah. try we try so try to continue so that uh, Evgenia will will share this. There's some problem with my sharing. Okay, okay, Evgenia, if you can share share the slideshow. While waiting, so so uh, uh, we have here now available this information about the the, the, the opening time timetable. Okay, let's see see if we, we get that. Uh, Yanni, do, do do you have that that slide show there? Yes. No. Okay. Okay. Okay, great, great. Now you see it. Yes, it is. Thank you. I see it differently. <laughs> now it's full full screen. Yes. Okay. Please okay. yeah. Do you hear me? Yes, we do. Okay. Um so the call is open until 17th of March and 1500 finish time is the deadline when when you have need to leave your applications in promise system after that it's the game is over and do you hear me now yeah we'll do we'll yeah do. there's there's we'll some do. this something un unstable connections on my my screen okay anyway we try to try to continue so the signed versions needs to read security office or branch office in petrosavatsk on 24th of march and remember this deadline also these are uh, critical deadlines which should be given mind and the next slide please Is the next slide now? Yes. Yeah, yes, there, I, there is this. Uh, because I, I can't see anything at the moment. So. Okay. Obviously, you have some some connection problems, but we are in the slide which is telling about the minimum amount and. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. The minimum amount of um, a regular project, like Henna and said is 50,000 euro of total costs and when you're talking about capitalization projects uh it should be between 20,000 and 60,000 euros and if i remember this slide there is a, this uh date when when the project should be ended it's by the end of 2023 and it means that all the activities all the cost must be paid by on that date and it means also auditing costs so if you want to include audit costs to to your project those should be paid like any every other cost by the end of 23 and this should be noted when you're planning planning the budget in your projects. And, and maybe Jarko, if I if I may may uh, ask, so so what would be your your recommendation to to how how to plan the implementation? Um, meaning maybe, meaning the final final reporting and, and and closure as well. Yeah, maybe maybe the project related activities should should end um, month before before the end of end of year so you have time enough to draw up report and audit if you want to include those costs to your project 
so it's maybe not possible to continue with your activities until the end of end of that year yeah and henna, henna uh, complemented that in, in in chat and said that the final report doesn't need to be submitted by the end of the year so 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 that is good to 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 keep in mind as well but okay Jarko, please yeah this is a little bit difficult because i still don't see what is next slide so i don't know how to how to continue with this, <laughs> with this the, my my computer is totally i i will continue from yevgeny Evgeny has computer, so please hold a minute. Okay, if you if you can you can already or, or let's wait for, for Jarko to I, I I guess he's he's changing room there to Yevgeny's room. So so Henna uh, is there anything else that you would like to 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 say about this this deadline and what to keep in mind when when thinking about end of 23 yeah what we have discussed internally yeah, okay we can you hear me that. now sorry yeah. about this mess i i don't know why why the technique in in, in here but, but okay, but Henna was about to, to continue about this deadline. So let's give Henna a floor before, before you. Jarko yeah, what I, I, I had in mind, Jarko already mentioned that it is a good idea to end the activities before the end of the year. And probably there you will need more than a month for, for closing of the project. But what I would recommend is that you can, in a way, plan it so that you will slowly finish the activities and only start already start the, the the reporting in a development project so when you are finishing the activities you will also prepare the final report and and at least book the time for the for the audit so that you can minimize the time needed and and in a way maximize the time time for the for implementing the activities. So uh, I think this is something that needs really careful planning of the timetable in the end of the next year. But please, Jarko, continue. Okay, thank you. So the next slide here. And like, like I said already, the application will be sent and draw up in in Promas system. If if Promas is not familiar to everybody, you can find it from from that website promascbc.fi, and there you will find this this view. And naturally, you will pick the middle one program. Karelia enter enter there and and you will find find the page where you can register to do the call and and find the uh, find the needed registration IDs and you you can find also also promise link from our website kareliacbc.fi and then few words about partners so the implementation period is uh, considerably short and maybe it's uh, uh, good to pay attention to number number of partners. It's not maybe appropriate to uh, have a very big partner consortium in these projects. So I would say two to four partners could be ideal amount of partners when you're planning, planning the project now. We have no intention to arrange any partner date events now, mostly due to, due to COVID restrictions and, and considerably short, short time. So if you are now newcomer, 
try to find some more experienced partner with with you and use your existing partner networks to build good partner consortium for this call then budget in in this project are a little bit different than i used to you don't find heading equipments and supplies anymore it's not available in this call and, and practically in practice this means that um, uh, laptops mobile phones printers for staff is not eligible cost in these calls and administrative costs are not used in capitalization projects even even you can find it in budget details if you are planning a capitalization project leave administrative cost empty then about annexes the annexes are same than in previous calls there are you can find uh, templates for those from our website kareliacpc.fi there will be budget which means excel excel sheet for detailed budget then there are partnership statements which is necessary for every partners uh, excluding lead partner we are still using logical framework matrix which is in very important role when you're talking about the lumps and projects it is the capitalization projects and there will be also communication plan needed in in these projects and few words about lump sums like henna said uh, lump sums are used in capitalization projects and the budget is verified and linked to the outputs and indicators of the work packages so every output and indicators are defined during the negotiation process so that uh, we have a consensus between managing authority and, and the applicant what are we paying for the payments are based on the fulfillment of the outputs and, and indicators and those goes what we uh, what we approve those will not be challenged after approval of the budget and no financial reporting and or expenditure verification is needed in these lump sums project and finally the indicative timetable what happens in the future we have intention to arrange capacity building event for applicants 10th of February next year I hope we we can have some living audience but most likely it, it will be hybrid event and anyway it, it will be streamed so that everybody can participate it in that event uh, evaluation process start after the call closed and information about the project selection is is available in June next summer and when we are finally negotiated and projects are, are selected we will have launching event hopefully in October next autumn and that was my part and I, I thank you and if you have any questions I hope Henna and Marco can take questions I, I will move to my my computer back and I, I think if you can still wait I... Jarko if you can still wait for 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 a minute there uh, so thank you thank you Jarko and and 
as the article said so so if you have any questions please write them in in, in chat and at the moment we seem not to have any but but i have one one question or or a note if Jarko or henna if you if you want to to tell more about that so so the idea about about the capacity building event there in, in february so so in, in practical terms what would you say about that how how how, how the, the the beneficiaries or, or applicants could utilize that uh, yes, I, I actually wanted to say a couple of words about the capacity building activities that we are we are planning. In the guidelines, it indeed reads that we are planning to have a hybrid event as a capitalist uh, capacity building event in in February. Uh, currently, unfortunately, the COVID situation looks like it's going the reverse. At the moment, so it's very well possible that we do not have a hybrid event in in February. Instead, the 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 plan B is that we will publish capacity building material, videos or or such already in January on our website. So on. Um, improving the, the project logic and, and how to make a budget, we will make some material online. And then we are offering bilateral consultations for each applicant. So you can book a slot of 45 minutes with the managing authority to discuss the project logic and, and budget. The link is on our website and, and I will also put it on the chat. So this is an option that you can use if you wish. And then even if we are not organizing our capacity building event as such in February, there will be a question and answers session on that day. So if you have, have any, any, any problems or, or questions, we will be available online at that point. But we will keep you posted and informed on the on the evaluation of the of the capacity building measures. But that's the idea currently. Okay, thank you. And then we have in chat a question. In capitalization project, the lump sums are paid only after the project based on achieved goals, not achieved goals or. Uh, I, I um, think, yeah, yeah, I think we, we have the same same intention than, than in micro projects that most part will be paid in advance and, and, and finally finally last last amount after we have approved final final project and find that outputs are those what we have approved in the contracting phase but then the payment is based on the fulfillment of the output so if for example there are four outputs defined in the grant contract that needs to be reached then if only three, for example, are, are completed and one is not, and they would be like 25% each, then only 75% of the agreed costs will be paid to the lead partner. So that is something that needs to be taken in, into account when planning a capitalization project. And, and especially when implementing it, you really need to produce the outputs that you have promised. Indeed. Okay, then there, there is a question that is it possible to make an application on the capitalization and the results of micro project? If I remember right, we, we talked about this, this in, in advance and, and we found that that is not that it's not the ideal case and not possible. Correct me if I'm I was wrong. Yes, in, yes, indeed, because uh, the micro projects were had a preparatory nature, so, so meaning that they were preparing uh, 
should I say, a bigger, bigger project, which is then 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 implemented uh, with uh, the financial of the current program or some other financial sources. So meaning that that the capitalization concerns these these main projects. Uh, then, uh, then we have a further question for 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 uh, I, I guess for lump sum projects and and, and capitalization projects. Very much asks if if it it is another negotiation round uh, when contracting. I, I would say directly yes, but if if Jarko, you 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 would like to to continue or Henna. Yeah, I would say that the negotiation round is is quite um, uh, is, is essential when you when we talk about uh, capitalization projects, but also also for a regular, regular project because uh, um, applications are more or less not ready for for projects, and, and those need to be challenged and and maybe modified a little bit. During, during the negotiation. Yeah, indeed. Thank you, Jarko. So uh, for for these capitalization projects and, and lump sums, I, I could say that the recommendation is to pay particular attention to, to the description of outputs there with your application. Okay, then we have a further question. Uh, development projects, how much should they be filled with fundamental scientific content or should they have more practical research and now yeah, would you like to take take this i would say that the basic idea is to have more practical uh, approach in the in the project so we are usually not funding this basic research or what would you say marco Yes, indeed, this is this is the line of, of the program in general. I would say, of course, if if there's uh, some scientific research behind, and then, they, then there are yeah, as as part of the project, and then continue to to to, to uh, practical activities, then then that that might be the case when when it is possible. But but fully focused on scientific research, uh, that, that is not the intention of, with uh, Karelia CPC projects. Okay. I can see that we do not have further questions there, there in, in the chat anymore. So uh, I use the opportunity to, to uh, take a couple of points uh, from, from the presentations given us by, by Henna and, and Jarko. And maybe maybe the first point to notice and keep in mind when when planning your project so is, is the limited time schedule that we have for, 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 for the implementation of these projects. So that makes these projects, I, I would say, quite compact. Uh, then uh, Jarka referred to, to the number of partners, and that, that is really important point to keep in mind. And I, I would also recommend to communicate actively with your partners already when, when planning the project. So, so that, in a way, uh, builds up a solid cooperation project and helps you with the smooth uh, launching of project when, when, when then it is time to, to launch activities. We have the limited uh, schedule for, for, for implementation, so, so that, that is really important that you have consensus with your partners, what you are going, going to do, and common understanding. And I would strongly recommend you to utilize uh, the, the support which is provided that, that Henna, Henna uh, explained about. So, so use that opportunity to test and, and ask questions, test your ideas and ask questions. So, so that, that might improve your, your final proposal then. Um, 
then uh, a practical recommendation uh, before you then finalize and submit your proposal. So, so please uh, ensure that, that you have all the required materials there in, included and, and you have filled in all, all the required parts of the application. And finally, a uh, very practical point, which was already un underlined by, by Jarko, so uh, respect the deadline, because that is an ab absolute deadline. Henna Jarko, would you like still to, to take some point that you should keep in mind when, when you finalize the application or okay. prepare the application? I have one thing in mind, which which is quite obvious, but I still would like to say it out loud. So it was already mentioned that it is a good idea to limit the number of the um, partner organizations, but I would also like to remind you that it is a good idea to limit the number of the work packages because of the limited implementation period. So, so keeping the whole project really compact is really important under this call for proposals. Indeed, really, really a good point. And still a uh, final uh, practical question by, by Vilma. So uh, when will it be possible to book the discussion about the idea with the managing authority? Emma, Emma can you take this? Uh, so, the, so the calendar is already available now and the dates available, if I remember correctly, they start from the mid-January and go until the first week of March. So in every week, there are six dates, slots available. If you can't find a suitable slot for you, then you can uh, contact us directly and we'll, we'll see what you do. But there is quite a lot of dates available. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Emma. Okay. So, uh, having said that, so, uh, okay. Do we still have one? Uh, uh, there's, uh, okay. Still one, one practical question before, before closing. So by, by very much, so should we use ground mail in sending application documents? Uh, meaning, meaning paper versions. We still need the signed version of the application. So, in that sense, ground mail, yes, or hand delivery, hand delivery, is needed. Yeah, all all courier services are yeah. Yeah. possible. We we need that signed signed paper. No, no matter how how do you bring it to us, but by mail or, or by yourself. In every other aspect, we are not needing the signed papers anymore, but the, the application, we still, still need it. Yes, mm -hmm. So there is a question on electro, electronic signature and, and unfortunately we uh, still need the, the signed paper or what do you, say Marco on the on the electronic signature. Yeah, we probably we, we still need to 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 clarify that question uh, to, to be be on the right side when, when I'm giving uh, guidance on this. Uh, but having said that, so uh, I guess and wish that, that this is the last round when we do really need these signed versions and then when when uh, opening the calls for the for next program, then I assume that we do not need these paper versions signed once anymore. But this is the last round now. But we'll, we'll provide a clarification on this, so, so to, to give you clear and right answers on, 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 on that. There is actually one more question on changing the partners. Okay. When applying for a capitalization project. So as I mentioned, it is possible that in the capitalization project, their partners are different compared to the original project. So at least one partner needs to be needs to come from the original consortium 
it doesn't necessarily have to be the, the lead partner of the original partner, but the lead partner of the capitalization project needs to be in the, in the original consortium, but otherwise the partners can be changed. Yes, indeed. Okay, thank you, Henna. And uh, thank you all for your participation. Uh, and uh, I wish you all a luck for, for the pre preparation and, and, and uh, make good proposals. This is uh, still a possibility to, to, to build up a good proposal within this current program and, and build a bridge to, to, to the next program. And having said that, I, I want to wish you all very Merry Christmas and, and Happy New Year. And I, I guess next time and we meet uh, online, most probably, uh, is already 2022. So thank you, uh, Henna Marie and Jarko for, for, for the presentations and thank you all for, for your participation. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye bye. Thank you all. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.